top. You, you, you are now watching the hottest morning show on the planet. The Rise and Grind Morning Show with CEO Hockley. It's time to get up and counter. And counter. And counter. Yo, we right back in here, man. Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. I need to make sure my audio is clear, man. I got some special guests in the building. Put a one in the chat if y'all can hear me, right? Where you at? That, that go my audio engineer. There he is. K Riz is the morning show audio engineer. He think it's a game. Nigga, we, we going to be on national TV one day. You, you going to hear it again. Hit that like button. It's free. Shout out to Chubbs in the building, man. Listen, this is what I need y'all to understand. Whenever we go to break or whenever y'all see a commercial, you know, that's the time for you to do what you got to do. But if you don't do nothing else, man, make sure you share this out, man. If you're on YouTube, I have it pinned in the comment section. Share this video to Facebook. Share it to your Twitter. Share it to your community tab. Get this message out. But we're going to get the show started, man. The first topic is CEO thought of the day, right? And this is what I want to say for the ceo thought of the day is this it's not about you man listen it's not all about you everybody think it's about them but it's not all about you what do you mean ceo what i'm saying is we are a community unto ourselves meaning like <clears throat> you yourself it's a robert hockley today it's a robert i mean it's a ceo hockley today it's a ceo hockley tomorrow it's a ceo hockley next week it's a ceo hockley next year right some people may be like oh you might not be alive that long regardless there is a version of you that exists in the future okay and if you understand that then you have to take care of your business today so the version of the version of you that exists in the future could have a better life and be in a better position today we sleep on the floor right but next month we sleep on the air mattress, but you have to get through those progressions, get through those progress. Not only you as a person, but you also got to do that for the next generation because not only are you existing in multiple versions into the future, you also have family members and kids and things like that existing. So the things that you do today will reflect people years from now. And I'm only saying that because I'm going to bring up my nephews, right? And there's some things and some commitments I made in the past, right, that brought about the future I have today with my family. So in the past, I knew there would be a future for the Hockley family, for me and my family, right? But I couldn't make that future possible doing the things I was doing. I couldn't make that future possible from being in prison. The, the person I was, Kryptonite, right? could not bring about generational wealth and, and 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 rise my family out of poverty kryptonite and the rolling 60 crips couldn't do that kryptonite and the rolling 60 crips was the curse that kept my family in that cycle of violence once i realized that and i broke that cycle mentally physically and spiritually i was able to produce the future that i wanted right and and today right on the show right i'm able to show you this this future manifested in the form of my nephews right they come into the show um i need to get my instagram hold on need to get my instagram back in here man i need my people on instagram to tap in ah uh, i ain't gonna worry about instagram i'm gonna worry about the people that's in here man so with no further ado man i want to bring my nephews to the goddamn show man hold on yo yo what's up huh? what's going on what's huh? up can y'all hear me yeah we can hear you yeah with no further ado man y'all tell y'all y'all tell the audience who y'all are i got you let me go first i'm roderick roderick hockley big brother uh the biggest out of everybody the oldest this you feel me? i'm roger you know what i'm saying that little brother gained all my knowledge from him you know no. yeah take from take from my own yeah all right so right now on the screen, man, I got Roderick Hockley and I got Rodre Hockley, right? These my nephews, man. Where y'all at right now? Man, we in San Marcos right now. Take okay. <laughs> y'all, y'all out in San Marcos, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. For the audience, there's a lot of people that may be listening that that ain't from Texas, right? That ain't uh from the area. Where San Marcos at? San Marcos is in Hill County. 
right? It's a lot of hills out here. It's uh, like in the west side of Texas a little bit. It's over by like San Antonio, Austin, and like right in the middle. About 30 minutes away from Austin. Yeah, right, yeah, right there. All right, so y'all like 30 minutes away from Austin and San Antonio. Y'all in between Austin and San Antonio on I-35. Yo, we were just yeah. talking about I-35 like a week ago. Yeah, yeah I, I was just talking about I-35. Now let me ask you this. Are you staying at your mama house out there? Nah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, are you are you living at your mama house? Are you in your mama back room right now? I mean, kind of explain to the people. <laughs> I see you shaking your head. Okay, where are y'all at right now? And you know, what's your living condition right now? All right, so man, look, so I come up out of here from uh came out to Texas State on a football scholarship. Uh, so I've been living on my own in my own house uh, for the last four or five years. Uh, graduated from Texas State. I like the community out here, so I decided to stay out here. So uh, me and my cousin, we decided to get a, a townhouse together. So I paid this townhouse with these pickles. What do we do? Townhouse living in a college town. All right. How old are you, man? I am 23. I turned 24 on the 25th. You turned 24 on the 25th of this month, yep. right? Yep. Okay, so 23 years ago, so you was born in 2000. Yep. All right, so now that you up there, and you've been up there four, five years living in your own house, right? Mm -hmm. You done brought your brother up there, Rod Dre. Talk to us, Rod Dre. Come on, yeah, man. I know. How, how, how old are you, Rod Dre? Tell the people how old you are and, and things like that. I'm 18 years old. You know what I'm saying? All the knowledge is all being passed around, so... We all winning. Right. So, Rodre, y'all might not know, Rodre is um my youngest nephew, right? And um he was out with me in Charleston. He loved Unc. You love Charleston? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's overstood. He already know what it is. Yeah, so he was out with us out in Crockett when the big old fight and all that stuff was going on. He was the one recording and stuff like that, man. So, you know, Rod, 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 Dre, Rod, 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 Rod Dre and Charleston locked in, man. I ain't gonna lie. You low key stole my video, though. And it went viral. <laughs> I didn't steal your video. Your video went viral on Snapchat and you got it deleted. Uh, TikTok, and you got it deleted. <laughs> my nigga, I, if, if it wasn't for me, the video still wouldn't be up. <laughs> the people don't know who it really is behind the camera. Man, you gotta tell them, man. It's all about the king making. It ain't about being the king, man. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's all about, y'all heard what my nephew say, man, I, I explained that to him. It's not about being the king, it's about being the king maker. Man, we don't want to be the king, we want to be the king maker. If you make people president, you will have more power than all the presidents. Yeah, straight up. You will have more power than all the presidents. Well, this is an improv interview, y'all. They was just watching the show. Rodre just pulled up out there and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the business that my nephew started when he was in um when 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 did you start at this pickle business, right? And I know we didn't took it to another level, but kind of get a people when you started the tip pickle business. All right, I started the pickle business maybe in like fifth grade. I had to go stay with my grandma for a little while after uh, Hurricane Ike. So uh, yeah, I stayed with my grandma, always been like a hustler, you know, kind of running the family. I always had some candy I was selling at school. So uh, my grandma, whenever I was staying with my grandma, she taught me how to make these pickles, pickly pickles. All right, you no, know, see the hats, see the hats, right? Uh, she told me how to make these pickles. Uh, so I used to cut them up, put like four slices in a little, little Ziploc bag and uh, take them to school with me in middle school. And that's how I started. And then my uncle kind of taught me, he kind of put in perspective that I can take this and make this a real thing. Uh, whenever I got to uh, maybe like my, my freshman year in college and ever since then we've been running. All right, so kind of show them the hat, right? So, so, so they can see the hat. Okay, we got two hats coming out, man. We got some hats dropping on the 26th after the birthday. A red and a green hat. You know. They're gonna be available for pre-orders on the 26th. Right. So oh, the, look, 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 tell the folks, I'm, I'm trying to see something. Look, tell the folks, put a one in the chat for the red hat and yeah. put a put a two, put in, two the in the chat for the green one. I'm trying to see something, trying to see. All I'm right. To... So both both of y'all put the hats up in front of the camera audience red hat or green hat come over some raw drape 
Yeah, yeah do, do, do y'all want them to get the red hat or the green hat? One for the red, two for the green. One for the red, two for the green. Which one is harder, man? They try to make a decision. Yeah. I'm getting I'm getting a lot of ones in the chat, man. I'm getting a lot of ones in the chat. Matter of fact, I ain't got no tools, man. They not rocking with the green, man. <laughs> That's crazy. They, 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 they not the green. They, they, the pickly green, bro. It's they right. not they not rocking with the green. They want the you know red mean fire. I know. They, they want right. to rock with the red. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. It ain't no real pickle lovers in here. The pickle lovers would have went for the green. The, yeah. pick, the, pick, right. the pickle lovers would have went for the green. Yeah. All right. So real quick again, uh, uh. A, a lot of people are just a, a lot of people are just meeting me, right? And they, they, they just able to meet some of the things that's going on. Now we're gonna we're gonna talk about the pickle business and stuff like that. We're gonna also talk about some of the past and some of the things y'all done heard and some of the things y'all done saw with me, right? But I've been schooling you, Roderick, giving you the game, giving you books to read giving you know guiding you through the way and it's not all me Roderick also has a uh his mother his stepfather his grandmothers he have a whole community of people right everybody that, that's gonna make sure he gonna make it so he the first one out the bunch he is the oldest out of the next generation and he gotta make it right he, he has to make it and we make sure that Roderick stay up and him himself he's already a thinker so um let's bring a pack of the pickles up man let's show the people what the pickles are um so that's what the packs look like pickly pickles you know they come already packed up sliced up for you and yeah, so there you go. I got two flavors. I got a spicy and a mild flavor, but they both sweet and spicy. Just on your tolerance of spice. And yeah, my grandma told me how to make them. Right. All right. So tell them how many stores we got. So right now we are in two stores in Galveston County, three stores in Galveston County. Uh, a and M grocery store on the island, Galveston. We are at the KLM and One Stop Shop in Lamarck, Texas. Uh, right around right. the corner, and we at the G County Apparel Shop, four shops in the county. Boom. Right. And then we had uh, up here in San Marcos. Uh, I kind of built the community out here, um, and we had the in the concession stands for the football games, concession stands for the baseball games. We got three stores out here. Yeah, we pushing them, pushing pickly. That's what we do. Okay, so right now we had a total of what? Uh, we got we got seven. about huh? That's, that's seven right there. That's seven. Okay. Right, 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 right. Now we're pushing seven stores, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, where Roger went? Roger, right here. Right here. All yeah. right. So with the with the information and the knowledge I've been giving you with packaging, with distributing, with the books we've been reading, with the stuff we've been setting up, have you been able to um, create a career out of this? Do you see this as a career for yourself? I do see this as a career for myself. Most definitely. You know, try, I'm trying to make it something I can, you know, push on my little brother. I got little sisters. I got little cousins, you know. So I really want something that I can build a foundation for all of us. Generational wealth. Yeah. Okay. So, Rodre, what kind of knowledge, what kind of information you get from your older brother, Roger, with, with, with the pickle business? Really just trying to build generational wealth. Something that's going to be talking about 100 years from now. Tell them about selling. No, tell them about selling. And then how you going to sell? Sell. So, I ain't going to lie. At first, I was nervous because I wasn't really nervous. slide slide over a little bit. Hey, let, let me ask you this, Roger, real quick mm -hmm. before we go on. Right? Can you, um, Roger, turn your camera off portrait mode and turn it sideways? Yeah, yeah. There you go. You, you probably have to raise it up some. Let me flip it. There we go. Um. Here we go. Me in there. Straight. My bad, my bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. Oh, no. It's all right. You ain't messing up. I'm the one that fucks you up over here. You ain't messing up, man. Let me see if I can just write this. This right. Man, this right. This right. This right. This right. Right there. There we go. All right. All right. Yeah.
we in the garage, like Jeff, uh, Jeff Bezos, man. Yeah, yeah but, but, start from the garage. Yeah, we in a garage, but we ain't in our mama garage. So, oh, no. yeah, nah. yeah, yeah, it's nah, nah. So slide down a little bit, Roger. Okay. No, 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 you don't. No, you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, Roger. So yeah. tell us some of the things about selling and, and and how you started off when you first started selling the pickles. When I first started, I had to learn. You got to get told no a hundred times for your first yes. At right. first, I was really nervous, but it's like getting told no. That's what made me just want to, you know what I'm saying, start asking everybody. Just start pushing it more. Right. So how, how are you now? Is that easier to sell for you? Most definitely. I grew into it. It just took some time. The more right. I did it, the more easier it got. Right. So tell me what y'all got planned today. Right now, we finna start making these pickles. And then we're gonna go down to Swell Park and start selling them. Yeah, right. we're gonna uh, we're gonna go out to the the Sewell Park little river thing out here in San Marcos. We got like a uh, uh, we got a river on campus at Texas State. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go out there and sell some pickles. Is what we do, pickly pickles. They love pickly pickles at uh, Sewell Park. Mm -hmm. All right, and how how many people? I mean, now this is not the store. This is not the grocery stores. This is not that. How many pickles y'all think y'all sell when y'all ever go out? When y'all go out, I know y'all go out daily and get new customers and get new stuff like that. On average, how many packs of pickles y'all selling hand to hand? A day, probably like uh, on on a good day. I can go. We can go for like a hundred. Around springtime, it's all the party. We can go for about a hundred, two hundred. Yeah, but like right. on, on a regular day, uh, you know, if the sun out or if it's on a gloomy day, it's been some gloomy days recently. We can go sell like 50, 60. Yeah. Right, so the more people out, the more you can sell. Y'all just had experience the clips down there. Did y'all sell some of them clip pickles? Uh, no, we ain't get, we ain't we get, didn't I, get. I had to go pick them up yesterday. I went and got went to the island and picked them up yesterday, so we ain't get to do the clips day. But we got Spring Fest this whole week yeah. is Spring Fest for Texas State. Start from Wednesday, yeah, start tomorrow. Right, so I just dropped the website in the chat, y'all. Also, I want to show y'all the website here. Hold on, let, let, let me do this, let, let, let me pull some stuff up. You know, this is our show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this is our show, man. We get to do what we want to do, how we want to do it. I ain't read no motherfucking community guidelines or none of that shit. I don't worry about none of that. Yeah, we don't worry about no YouTube check, none of that. Yeah, yeah. I ain't I don't know nothing about none of that shit. They gotta come, the YouTube police gotta come arrest me because I'm doing whatever <laughs> the fuck I want to do over here. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna bring up the website so the audience can see the website. I just dropped it in the chat. Now, let, let, let me ask you this. And, and the audience ain't going to be able to see you, but, but we can still hear you, right? Hold up. All right, this is the website. Can you see it? Yep. Oh, yeah, I see it. This is the website. This is where you can buy the spicy or mild, right? This is where the places that they are at. Right, well, 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 we ship stuff out. Okay, so it is a website. You got somewhere where people could go and buy. Let me ask you this question. You ready? I'm ready. Who built that website? I built this website. You built the website. How how the hell you built the website? I can tell you, I ain't want to build a website, but I did have a, a great influence telling me that I should, I should definitely make a website that would be beneficial for me in the future. Right. So, uh, so that that came from you. The influence definitely came from you to make make this website. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Like what I told you, I say, listen, we not gonna talk about this shit. Build a website. You got this weekend. If the if the website ain't built, at least you would have parts of it built. So you need to build it this weekend. So how much of a resource has, has the website been to you? The, man, the, the, just to having a website in general just gives you that, that sense of uh, officialness that people look for. Uh, or The professionalism. Yeah, the prof professionalism that uh, people are looking for. Because whenever we go out there passing out pickles hand-in-hand -hand and stuff like that, it's easy to tell us. You know, we, we some young black men. You know, we out here in Austin. I got most, dreads. You know, right. the majority of white folks out here. So it's... And then our package is kind of black, you know, it's kind of hard with the package. So it's easy for people to kind of like throw it off a little bit. But whenever we pass out like these flyers, you know, we got like webs with the website and stuff. We do you know the ways. We got like the merch and stuff, you know, it's kind of hard to think that we plan. It ain't no joke about it. It's the real deal. 
know, right. The oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. They, 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 they understand. They understand that 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 that, that it is the real deal. Okay. Yeah. So since I've been on YouTube, I have been promoting this. I have been telling people about this. You know, people didn't people didn't believe me, but I have had people from my YouTube channel purchase pistols uh -huh. from you all, right? Yeah. And I also got Miss sitting in the tree, right? Miss sitting in the tree, yes. Yeah, I, I got yes. Miss sitting in the tree to um purchase and give us a review. So I'm gonna play Miss sitting in the tree review when she bought the pickle, and y'all um shipped them out to her, right? Because Lewis, you know a lot a lot of people talk about doing stuff. A lot of people talk about doing stuff like well, I this. I just wanted to do a quick uh, little review. A lot of people talk about supporting, but again, I always come with the facts. And when and when I come with the facts, some people be offended. You know, we, we live in a culture where people like to just talk about doing stuff, you know, and I've never been a talker. I always been one that if I start talking about it, I'ma do it. Right? So yeah. we, we gonna check out this. We're gonna check out this review of the pickles from Miss Sitting in the Tree, y'all. We got Miss Sitting in the Tree in the building, and this is the pickle review she gave, right? After ordering and purchasing the pickles. Hold up. Let me bring that up. Can y'all see that? Yeah, look and see. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I just wanted to do a quick little review. I just got the um pickly pickles. We're not your ordinary pickle. So I got the mild, and then I also got the spicy. And so I've already uh, been trying these. These are really good. I really enjoy the fact that they are a little sweet because I like sweet pickles. And I like the fact that they came sliced already. So I could just throw them on like a little quick little sandwich and like some tuna or whatever and eat them. I really like them. So these are great. They came pretty quick. I like how they package. So you can just throw them in the refrigerator. So I definitely give you guys two thumbs up. This is Tara Freeman, originally from Tampa, Florida. Thank you guys. Your pickles are great. Well, I just wanted to do a quick little review. I just got. All right. So that's a real review, people. From, yeah. from the people that, that, that support the channel. From the Thank people you, that, that 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 have already purchased the pickle, you could you you could buy the pickles. We ship everywhere, right? You you could buy the pickles from. I'm I'm gonna put it in the chat again. This is a link in the chat, and again, it's just some improv stuff. These my nephews, man. We talk all the time. We kick it all the time. They get a lot of game from me all the time. This is CEO. The fruit don't fall far from the tree. Not 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 only with that, right? <clears throat> We 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 gonna do some little yeah. They say we miss miss sitting in the tree. Come back, yeah, man. I'll be running people out, man. You know me, I'm I'm fucked up. Y'all know I'm fucked up. <laughs> I'm a fucked up ass nigga. It is what it is. But the proof is also in the pudding, man. I try to produce the things in which I want to see, and you know I put the work in, man. So everybody ain't gonna stay with you. Some people gonna just cheer for him, for you, man. But we, we appreciate it, and, and this is what we gonna do, Roger. Uh, tell them a little bit about your plans moving forward and some of your goals. Okay, like you said, you don't like talking about your goals. I get that from you. I don't like talking about it too much because you that sense of you feel like you feel like you accomplished something. You ain't did nothing yet. But uh, man, we got some. We're gonna drop the hats April twenty sixth. That's kind of like our biggest uh, checkpoint right now. You know, it's our first time dropping some merch. Uh, we've been Gonna keep pushing the pickles every single day like we do. But uh boom, we got the hats dropping. Man, I'm kinda just thinking right there right now, man. We got the hats dropping. Uh yeah, oh yeah. We yeah. dropping hats. Boom. We got uh, in the future, I'm thinking about doing maybe like a, a fried pickle spot, you know, call it picklies, you know, fried pickles that popsicles, have, you know, all the type of things. Popsicles on the way. We got popsicles on the way. Yeah. Uh popsicles coming out in May, the sweet spicy nicey. Uh around the same time we're gonna start working on shirts. Yeah, so we got a lot of things building. Merch coming. Yeah, but the biggest thing was just building the brand foundation. So the we, more exposure, the more better. Yeah. So after we didn't did the hard part, everything was kind of easier now. Right. Um yeah. all right, man. Hey, this is what we gonna do. I'm I'm walking out the store, right? 
Mm-hmm. As y'all see, man, as the audience can see, I'm walking out the store. I'm, I, I just left out the store. I'm walking out the store. And we finna head to the store because we just showed the website, right? Yep. Yeah. So we gonna show it actually inside the store and what we do, what's real, and how we put it down. Hold on, man. We gonna give them a lot. News and shenanigans ask if we ship to California. We do ship to California. Oh, definitely. Ain't gonna lie. Shut up. Right here by the shop. There you go. There we go. Right. And we gonna see what's going on. The pickle game is kind of hard. What's up, Drake? We right there to the left. Right there to the left. Hey, it's only one turn. Okay, here we go, man. We got all these items here, all these items here, and then bam. Yep. <laughs> right, yeah, right here. Big hole in the middle. Yeah. Of it. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, nah, it, it, it's right here. Yeah, I, I, see they, I, I see they just made a drop, right? So you, you can get your pickles that they are already sliced and cut up. Yeah. Already sliced and cut up, man. That's what we got going on. Yeah. Jay, my nephew said hi. He said, what's up? I still got your thing. You still got to tell him. I still got his uh, bucket. You still got his bucket? Full of pickles. Well, I've been putting them out. You've been putting them out? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he asked how, much are, how much are they, Jay? $4.99 or $5.20? Just spice in mouth. A different flavor. Just spice in mouth. They come sweet and sour. Sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy. Yeah, sweet, sweet and spicy. My fault. <laughs> yeah, we in the building, man. So again, want to show the people live. What's up, baby? You good? You know, you know, yeah. you know we hitting on it. You no, know, we hitting on it, man. Again, I just want to show the people in real time. Uh, hustle no look, man. Real time, family business, man. Taking care of business, doing what we got to do all day, every day, man. A lot of people be playing. A lot of people be joking and shit. You know what I'm saying? I understand that it's the internet. And I understand you may feel like you can't do it. What I'm telling you is quit talking about it, nigga. Put that work in. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Put that work in so your family could know they could do it. Really? Yeah, put that work in so your family could know, 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 know that they could do it. And, and when you do that, everything else get better, man. Get up on that cross and die about it. Uh, so tell a little, tell the people a little bit about what you know about um, you know, growing up, Roderick, a uh, Rodre, and about your uncle. Tell the people a little bit about what you know. He was always hustling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The audio going in, the audio going in. I'm back in the shop. Okay, I see you now. Okay. Nah, man, man, you know you always a hustler, man. Yeah, Unk, always had a job, man. You know ain't playing. That's what. Exactly. That's what you know. Unk ain't playing. Whenever Unk talk, he talking. You know, he ain't, he ain't talking just to be talking. So that's one thing we learned growing up. Talking, me growing up with our uncle. Yeah. You know, man. always kept a job. Had some type of money. You know, Got big business. To it somewhere. And it was never just like no job. It was we ain't never before. My pops wasn't. Uh, uh, a garbage man, you know, I wouldn't knew my uncle was a garbage man, you know, but that's humble beginnings, you know. But it was always more than just trash, you know, it was uh clubs, we got yeah. the, the the party scene, the, 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 the shirts. Nah, but for me being growing up and to see my uncle like with the clothing company, uh I think it was like 2000, what, 2010, 2011, uh, my uncle was showing me designs of his uh designs of the G County apparel shirts. Mm-hmm. And and like and I remember had being like one of the first three, first people really being able to walk to school with a D County shirt on, like you know, and then to be able to see him just uh, keep pushing and him putting the words that he tells me, putting them same words into action, you know, it's just kind of like uh, that keep motivating me to keep doing what I'm doing. So, so when y'all hear people that tell y'all about the the street stuff or the prison stuff, how y'all, I mean, what what y'all think about that? Like, not not think about it in a negative way when people tell you about that. I, how do you see that, knowing that you see me in a different light? Man, it's crazy, you know. For the most part, man, we 
never really knew what you even went to prison for. We don't even, you know, we don't even know you for yeah. that life, you know. Exactly. We ain't know what a crypt night was until you got into the internet thing for real. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right, exactly. I'm just trying to, I, I'm only saying that to show people that that's how it should be. When you really did something, you really, you know, changing your life, you should let that shit go. And, and that shit should be hidden from your people. Like, that shit should not be something you should be celebrating as your as an accomplishment that that you didn't had that shouldn't even be yo for some people that's their only accomplishment you, you understand what i'm saying like and i think i think that's pretty sad right uh again i'm not some people i'm my own person but again it's something that shouldn't be celebrated and that that's hard for people to do that's hard for people to understand right because they so used to not taking care of their business right yeah. like my kid like like my kids just said right he just told y'all we ain't know what that shit was because we've been around this environment where we could you know come up and take care of business and take care of our business now people done told them different things but they never saw that aspect of it because that street shit is dead wood when it come to my family me personally i broke the curse right i'm not sent my kids not going to prison based on my behavior my nephews ain't going to prison based on my behavior I'm setting this up to where my nephews and my family could go get a bag based on my behavior. Where they could be business people based on my behavior. Where they could be men based on my behavior. The curse broke with me. And that was my whole goal was the breaking the curse. It's not that they won't get in trouble or something may happen or this may happen. But if so, we're in a position now to correct that wrong and straighten that path out, man. We are not in a position where if something happened, we begging and barring and coming on YouTube, crying and hollering. Nah, man, we getting right to it and take care of business, man, because this is what we do every day in real life, man. And this is just what it is. A lot of people can't do this. And this is not no capping. This is not no showboating. This is real results based on real work, man. That's it. That's all the fuck this is. <laughs> yeah, this is real results based on real work. So I ain't going to hold y'all up too much longer, um, nephew. Y'all want to leave the people with something before before y'all hear that? Man, you can't hide from the work, man. Everybody yeah. trying to hide from the work, man. You got to put the work in. You got to do the work. If you don't do the work, somebody else is going to come right behind you and do the work for you. So do the work, man. All right, man. Listen, I hope y'all have a blessed day, man. You know, I hit y'all when y'all get off the live. Everybody like that red hat. So you got to pump <laughs> that red hat. So you talking about the pickle colors and all this here. <laughs> To hell with the pickle colors. Give the people what they want. They say that red is fire. They probably got some clothes that's red. You understand what I'm saying? They want to rock that red, man. You got to come on with it, man. Red tearing heads, man. I wish y'all a blessed day. I wish y'all a safe day. I wish y'all go out there and run up that bag, man. And I'll tap back in with y'all later today. That's it, man. All right, dog. All right. All right, salute. Well, there y'all have it, man. Once again, again, that wasn't even planned. They just hit me up and said that they was watching the live, man. You know what I'm saying? Them my nephews out in Austin. And um, man, that's what we do, man. Shit ain't shit ain't easy, bro. You know what I'm saying? But a nigga done put in the work, man. You know what I'm saying? We could talk about it, we could bullshit all we want. But like I was saying <clears throat> earlier in the show, what I was saying was you are a community unto yourself, man. Fuck the other community. Right. If you want to be a community leader, be a good parent, lead by example. But that's hard to do. Why? Because we still want to be cool. We want to fuck all the hoes. We want to smoke all the weed. We don't want to pay the bills. We want to bullshit people. We want to have fun all our fucking life. But we never break the curse, bro. I'm talking about breaking the curse. You know what I'm saying? I was a part of a lot of bullshit growing up, man. Going to jail from 13 to 25 from murders to assaults to robberies to all kind of bullshit the fighting or just all kind of bullshit and at some point even as a young man as an adolescent i knew that was wrong i knew that i couldn't benefit from this in ways that i wanted to benefit from it and the first person that came into my life that was helping me realize that was my nephew they used to bring my nephew up there to visit me and i used to be like damn man my brother I have a younger brother, which is his father. My brother crept out. My brother then followed in my footsteps. He crept out. He just as crept out as I am. And now he didn't brought a son in the world. 
And my brother was naming his son Blue Jay. My nephew that y'all see now, is 24, he was calling him Blue Jay. And I really didn't agree with that, man. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I wasn't born into cripping, right? And prison made me look at, pr prison made me look at cripping in a whole nother light, right? It made me look at it like some real follower shit because I was a crip because my neighborhood was crips. I wasn't crip based on nothing from California. I didn't shout out to my niggas from California, but I wasn't crip. I was a crip because my community and the people I rode the bus with and went to school with was crips. That was it. That was my only basis for being a part of this gang thing. And once I started going into the system and going through the juvenile, I realized that it was something else. Like, you know, it was a group of people that I didn't even know that I supposed to be friends with that I don't even fuck with. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't fuck with everybody, nigga. I only fuck with real people, whether you crip blood or whatever. I fuck with the real. I'm not, I don't have no allegiance to no shit like that. So as I grew out of that, I didn't want my nephew them to even be born into that shit. Now imagine something I wasn't born into, right? But now I'm raising a child that's born into that. I didn't want that. I knew that early on. He ain't no fucking Blue Jay. He ain't no fucking Crip. I don't want this for nobody. Now that I done went through the fire, now that I done experienced, I don't want this for nobody. I don't want nobody to be on Ferguson Unit, especially out of my family. I mean, what the fuck that look like? I, I'm on Ferguson Unit. Now I'm visiting my nephew on Ferguson Unit. He up there with the guards that was there when I was there. Like, look at this cycle of ignorance and this cycle of violence. Nigga, I ain't no motherfucking six time. Nigga, fuck you. Yeah, none of that shit, man. I don't, I don't want to go to the funerals of my nephews and my sons based on gang shit. I done went to all my homies' funerals. My nigga, I don't want to repeat. Ain't nothing cool about that shit. You can't pay for the funeral. You can't help. No, ain't nothing cool about that suffering. I'm not with that in no shape, no form or fashion. But I knew that. I knew that back then. So once I was released to the streets, I went at it. If I had to be fucked up, if I had to be in the streets, I had to make sure I made a way, a better way for the future. And net, what y'all see on the screen is the results of my actions and the results of my thinking. Them or I treat them like my sons, right? Yeah, my my oldest son just brought a 2020, uh, a, a 2022 Ford Mustang. I was gonna put that on here and show y'all, but I ain't even. You know, y'all get it by now. I, I may have him come on. He just got a Ford Mustang last week, right? That's my oldest son, right? That's Trail. So, again, man, no, none of them are in gangs. None of them even care about gangs. All of them is about business. All of them is about growing. All of them is about taking care of business. All of them about passing the torch. Why? Because I didn't expose them to that shit, man. I did not celebrate that shit. I broke the curse. Now, it's easy for me to say that and be like, I did it. You should do it, too. I get it. Everybody ain't going to do it. Some niggas is writing. They, some, some niggas' kids is in jail, and they don't even write them. Some niggas' kids are in jail, and they don't even send them no money. You know what I'm saying? It's no help, bro. It's just a cycle of violence and ignorance that keep going. And my kids, who I done steered away from that shit, right? Got to run into their kids someday. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, when my kids is out trying to have a good time and trying to have fun, as young people do, they got to run into these people, kids, who are ready to get a life sentence, who has been raised to not give a fuck about nothing and nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because they daddy is a nobody. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, man. We sit here and be like, yeah, I grew up in a broken home. I grew up without a daddy. And then you create broken homes. Look at the cycle. You create broken homes, nigga. So it's like, oh, nigga, I ain't got to listen to you. And I get it. You don't have to listen to me. Fuck you too, nigga. Yeah, fuck you. You ain't got to listen to me, nigga. I ain't got to listen to you. Fuck you. Yeah, but I'm speaking against it because I suffered in it. I'm not speaking against it because I'm thinking I'm better. But I'm telling y'all from experience, right? That shit is nothing but a cycle of pain, violence, and ignorance, man. Can't nothing come from that. And I participated in that to the highest degree. 
I participated to the point where people lost their lives. I participated to the point that where my brother has spent 30 years in prison. So you think I'm going to celebrate that, nigga? As somebody who suffered like that? Nah, nigga, I'm not celebrating that. I'm, you can't even bring that shit around me, nigga. And I ain't went to nobody's school. I got mine straight out the motherfucking mud, straight out the streets, nigga. And I ain't celebrating that, nigga. That shit don't get celebrated over here. You bet not throw up no motherfucking sign. You bet not act like you no gangster. You finna get your ass beat the fuck up by me. Ain't no doubt about it. And if we had more of that in our community, we'll be a stronger community, but we don't. We got 50 year old boys playing YouTube, playing gang leader, playing that shit because they broken and they hurt. Nigga on this bitch living at their mama house, playing tough because they hurt. And I get it though. I get it. And at the same time as I get it, it's fuck them. Yeah, nigga, you might be my color, but you ain't my kind, nigga. And that's just what that is, man. That's the CEO thought of the day. Hopefully y'all can put that in y'all hat. I'm going to leave it right there, nigga. I'm not going to even. I, the show over. <laughs> show over, nigga. Y'all go by child day. Go watch them niggas. Go be entertained. Go watch the bullshit. Y'all got some real shit today. I'm not even finna give y'all them bullshit topics and all that shit. We get that tomorrow, man. Show over. Shout out to my nephew. Shout out to everybody that's watching. Shout out to everybody that's supporting. Make sure y'all share this out, man. It's your boy, CEO. As always, man, it's been a real one. And I appreciate y'all tapping in with me, man. Share this on Facebook. Share this on YouTube. Share this on Twitter. Share this wherever you post a share, man. It's the YouTube game, man. We here to play it, man. But y'all got some real shit today, some improv shit. Brought my nephews up. And, you know, whether y'all support or don't support, for us, it's back to business, man. Yeah, people pulling up right now at the front of the store right now, ready to come in. It's back to business for us on this end. I can't do five lives a day. I can't do it. I can't afford to do it. I got to take care of business. I got a fucking village to raise, nigga. So with that being said, man, salute. I appreciate y'all tapping in, man. We'll be right back at y'all tomorrow. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's your boy, CEO Hockley. Like always, man, get up and goddamn me count up, man. Let's go. Oh my God! Top of the top. You, you, you are now watching the hottest morning show on the planet. The Rise and Grind Morning Show with CEO Hockley. It's time to get up and count up. And count up. And count up.